to my channel. Today I am going to be filming my May favourites. Let's get into it. The first favourite is a little bit obvious. I got my hair cut. It used to be twice this length and I thought it was about time I got a change. So I got half of it cut off and I got a fringe again. So I'm just wearing it a little bit up. It's all good. Next item on the agenda is in May, it's my birthday, I turn 21, whoop, whoop. and I got quite a few things. I'm just, today I'm just going to share with you a few of them. First is this kookaburra. His name is Cal, spelled K-A-L, not as in the cow, the animal. He's a kookaburra. He's my new kookaburra. He is humongous, and I love him, and he's fluffy and soft, and he's just great. Kookaburras are my favourite animals, I just love them. I have another one up there on the chest of drawers that dances and sings and it's great. You can never have too many kookaburras in your life, seriously. Next we have is this wonderful goblet that I got for my birthday. It says happy 21st with a key on it and I have my name engraved on it. My uncle and my grandmother gave me this, just like to thank them excellent present. Next we have this necklace here. It's a dragonfly one. It's got little pink stones in it. That was a birthday present from my father. I love it. It's great. Next in the jewelry aspect I got this ring here. It's one of those little love heart rings and it's got my birthstone in it which is an emerald and it has my initials LMJ engraved on it and on the other side it has the date that I got it my birthday and this year. Next item we have that I got for my birthday is, as you may or may not know if you're new here or anywho, I like Minecraft and for my birthday my brother decided that the only acceptable presents to give me would be something Minecraft related. So he bought me the new Minecraft game which is the story mode one. I've played a few hours of this, quite a few hours of this. It's great. I really really like it. You play Alex, I do not look like him, there's like six different characters, Alex character design things you can choose from, three girls, three boys, I chose a boy because why not, it's mostly because he had green suspenders, I like suspenders, and you go through the story and every now and then questions will pop up that have three different answers you can choose from and the way you go in the story depends on which answer you choose. My brother was sitting next to me when I played it for the first time and he's like, press X. So of course, I press square. I never picked the right answer that he wanted. So far, this part I'm up to is, there's this big huge black glibbly thing that's attacking the Minecraft world and I'm out trying to find some people. I don't remember. It's all hooly wally. It's great and I love it. Next present is one I've wanted for so long that it's been waiting. I knew it was in the house for like weeks before my birthday, but I knew I couldn't have it until my birthday. And I was just like, ah, shook the whole bed. But it's The Raven King by Maggie Stevater, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. But this is the fourth book in the Raven Cycle series, and it's my absolute favorite book series in the entire world. And I absolutely love this series. I haven't read The Raven King yet because I kind of don't want it to end but at the same time I do want it to end but yes. This is the hardcover one. I also have The Raven Boys which is the first one, The Dream Thieves second, Blue Lily Lily Blue which is the third one and The Raven King all in hard cap hardcover. I also have a soft uh, paperback of The Raven Boys because it's my favourite book series. I love it and it's just great and I've read a lot. Yes. It's just, ah, it's just great. Seriously. Next present that I got is this beautiful photo album that I got from my friend Banana. I've talked about her before on my blog and I'm gonna call her Banana. And it's beautiful and she decorated the inside with some stickers, some 21st and some flower stickers and put two really not that attractive pictures 
of me inside that I'm not going to show you because they're terrifying, but it's a photo album for 200 photos and I will be filming it with pictures from my 21st birthday. Super. Next present that I got was this bad boy. This is a backpack bag thing that I got from Fluffy. If you read my blog you'll know who I'm talking about. And it is a TARDIS because I really like Doctor Who. Doctor Who's great. It's got this little front pocket at the back which I keep a bag in for when I'm shopping. And it's got little clippy bits, what are they called? I don't know. And then there's this big pocket at the back which you also tie on with this bit. And it's like huge inside. It's got a little zippy pocket here which I normally keep my house keys in which they're not in there. Huh. I don't know what I've done with them. And it's my bag. I might do a what's in my bag video later on. Maybe. So yes. Last birthday item that I'm going to share today is this blanket. It is called a mermaid. It's ooh, really long and it starts out wide. This is folded in half. It starts out really wide, then it tapers down to the point. And then this bit here is chinched in, I think the term is, and it flails out like this at the bottom. So it looks like a mermaid, and you just slip inside and it's great. The next clothing item is this jumper. It's a big slouchy jumper with pandas on it and love hearts that I stole from my mum and it's great. It's really really warm and I really really like it. I've been wearing that a lot because the weather's been a bit cool lately and it's just great. Next item on my favourites is this. This is a Lazy Susan. If you're unaware of what a Lazy Susan is, it's basically a tray with a spinning bit on the bottom and you put it on the table and you put things on it and then you can spin it. Say so you can put dip here, biscuits here, cheese sticks here, cucumber sticks here, sit around the table. You can just like spin it and Bob's your uncle. It's wonderful. And it's got beautiful cupcakes on it. I also got a cake stand with the matching design and it's great I love it next thing is a bit of a grown-up item it is some salt and pepper shakers we bought them these in a oh my god the lid came off these are grinder ones they come in a three pack it's black pepper coarse sea salt and Himalayan pink salt now my brother introduced us to this and bought it to try oh my god it's good I've been having it on like avocado and tomato on toast and oh, so good. And last but not least is is bake class. This is a cookbook that pardon me, I've hiccupies. This is bake class. It's a cookbook that I bought at the beginning of the month. It's learn to bake brilliantly step by step by Anika Manning, I think. And it's a cookbook, but oh, hardcover. It it has the different lessons in there. There's nine lessons for you to learn. Like, let's get to the first lesson. Oh, there's a lot of helpful things in the beginning, through the beginning, like getting started, how to read a recipe, what tips you'll need, what tips, what tools you'll need, and what different ingredients do like. Your eggs and things. Okay. Here's the lessons and recipes. Lesson one, the mix, the measure and mix method. It shows you how to mix in the ingredients correctly. And then this is the simpler one. And then it gives you some recipe ideas to try, like mini jake baked jam, donuts and soft sauce and pudding. And there's a pecan and cinnamon oat biscuit recipe. And as you can see from my little sticky notes. I have made these before but I made the macadamia and oat biscuit variation. I love this recipe book because it not only tells you how to do the recipe but it gives you variations for different recipes. And then my phone's going off. Where was I? 
not only do they give you variations for the recipes, but they also give you baking tips like the honey can be replaced with golden syrup and the biscuits will keep in an air airtight container at room temperature for up to two weeks. And then in brackets says, although mine are usually gobbled up in just a few days. So yes, and this is my new baking book. Something else that I've been loving this month, GTA 5, Grand Theft Auto 5 on PlayStation and computer. I've been playing it with, online with Mick the Gun and we do, you know, the mission thingies you meant to do and if he gets a bounty on him, I kill him and get the money for it. And I think the other day we were going around looking for specific kind of cars to put in our garages so then we can sell them because some cars sell for like two grand and then others are like nine grand and they're the ones you want to sell. It's good. YouTube channel that I've been obsessed with this month, I don't know why I clicked, is Everyday Food on YouTube and Sarah Carey, she's a She's the editor-in-chief of Everyday Food, which is a magazine, and she does a lot of the videos on the channel, and I absolutely love her, and watching all of her videos are just amazing. So yeah. I think that's everything. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to like, or thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Bye!